I'm just going to do a little polishing demo here. This would be um, a good all-rounder that I can send to people anyway. I should have done it ages ago. So it's quite important with these very intricate designs is to get in there. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> when you polish the whole surface, just get right in there in between the glass work and on the ground. And it helps, just helps to repel the water, keep the weather out. Um, right. So... I've always advised before to use a toothbrush to get in there, and that's fine, get in any little tiny areas. And then instead of um, trying to get in there with a cloth which is quite fiddly, I'm now using scrubbing brushes, I'm just get them from the pound shop or all the equivalent of. Also for larger areas, <coughs> excuse me, and over the slate as well. Just use one of the scrubbing brushes just to, you know, for speed. Let's get in there and go all over it. It's raining now, typically. <coughs> now this one is in my garden, my collection, and typically I don't clean them up as, I sh as often as I should and as often as I advise. But uh, I had to dig that out. It's, it's um, it has stood up to the weather, right. And then, ideally leave it till it till it sort of dulls over and it's dried off. Just take another brush, one that you don't use putting the wax on with, although they can be clean. And even there you can see the shine coming up on the glass and on the slate. That's not bad for a rainy day. And then for a, if you're feeling really particular, either use the plant oil or some, some kind of spirit. What have I got here? I mean, all this, this stuff is just a couple of quid surgical spirit. And then just go over the, the glass with that. Taking care not to soak the crevices again, because you want to leave the polish in there. And just buff that up. 